Welcome again to the Hot Stove League. We're delighted to welcome uh, Ray Delia, who's the general manager of the Moncton Wildcats. The Reading is Wild program is on again and substantially increased this year. And we thought, uh, Ray, it'd be a good idea to get you up and, and talk about that because uh, you've really uh, doubled the number of schools. Yeah, we've done well uh, this year, Les. We've uh, d- increased it to four schools over two. Uh, we're over 25,000 books read with a, with a goal of 45,000. And uh, the kids are doing a great job. We've got two weeks left to hit our goal and uh, feel real confident that they're going to get there. This whole idea is, uh, is a joint sponsorship, too, this year. Yes, we've, uh, the Times and Transcripts have jumped on board uh, this year, along with our longstanding partner, RBC. And uh, that's allowed us the opportunity to go out and uh, expand this program uh, more. And we're looking to do more next year as well. Now, the, the idea is that we get kids in both the French and English language schools to, to read books. They set an objective. Is that the way it works? Uh, they set their internal goals. We set uh, the overall goal to, to try to let them achieve uh, that number of 45,000. But uh, each school does uh, their own goal setting, and we, uh, we, we put a, a global goal out there. And the players get very, very directly involved in this. Yeah, we've got uh, the good fortune of having a good group of guys that uh, will we'll make these appearances when we ask. And uh, they went out to four different uh, schools, uh, the four participating schools, and uh, did a great job participating uh, in the kickoffs. And I understand that uh, from time to time the players are asked to go out and read for the kids. Oh, yeah, that's part of it. And uh, like I said, the, the guys are a great group, and, uh, and they're willing to go out there and uh, participate in our community endeavors. What, what's the thinking behind all of this? Is, is literacy, literacy one of the, the things that the Wildcats want to promote? Absolutely. It's, uh, it's one of the uh, sh- more pressing causes in, in the province, and uh, it's something we want to stand behind. And uh, obviously, our, both of our partners are, are very interested in, in that as well. And uh, with that, we felt that it was important to get to the, to the kids at a young age and uh, get them patterned into reading. Now, what, what happens? Are there any prizes? Uh, do the kids get recognized in any way for, for doing what they're doing? Well, there's always prizes, Les. That's, uh, that's part of the privilege of uh, being in a, involved in a hockey team. That's, uh, we, we've got a carrot for the kids, and uh, there's always Wildcats merchandise and tickets to the games. Uh, we have some kids here today, and uh, there'll be some kids here next Friday as well. So uh, it's, it's just our privilege to be a part of it and, and to have them participate. Okay, and and I understand the reaction from the kids is absolutely marvelous. Yeah, everybody wants to be a wildcat, it seems like. So uh, these are their heroes. When they come into the schools, they certainly get their attentions, and uh, that's what we want to do. We want to get their attention and, and, and get them reading. And I would think with 25,000 already read and, and uh, 45,000 for your goal, you're going to make, make it this year again. Oh, yeah, we're going to get it. Okay. We're going to get it. Well, Ray, it's, it's a great program, and, and congratulations to the Cats and uh, to the Times and Transcript and RBC for becoming involved in the Reading is Wild program with the Moncton Wildcats. Ray Delia is the general manager. Our thanks to him for joining us on today's Hot Stove Lake.